In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and subtract rational expressions. We will be looking for the common denominator and take up different situations. Let's start with the following example. In order for us to add two rational expressions, we need to create a common denominator. And in order to create the common denominator, we need to multiply the existing expression by the missing factor. So, in the first expression, the denominator is x plus 3. In the second expression, the denominator is x minus 1. The common denominator will be the product of all existing factors, x plus 3 and x minus 1. So, on this side, I'm going to multiply the denominator by x minus 1. And on this side, I'm going to multiply the denominator by x plus 3. However, in order for our rational expression not to change, we need to balance it. And what we might multiply the denominator by, we need to multiply in the numerator. So here, we also need to times by x minus 1, and here by x plus 3. Now, let's simplify. So the common denominator is x plus 3 times x minus 1. In the numerator now, we have 2 times x minus 1 plus 1 times x plus 3. We're going to keep the denominator in factored form, and we're going to expand and simplify the numerator. So in the numerator, we have to do distributive property. 2x minus 2 plus x plus 3 all over x plus 3 x minus 1 and then collect like terms 2x plus x negative 2 plus 3 so then we'll get 3x plus 1 all over x plus 3 x minus 1. This is the sum of the original two expressions. One more thing that you always need to remember to do is state restrictions on the original expression. So in this case, the restrictions will be x cannot equal negative 3 because the denominator of the first expression is x plus 3 and x cannot equal positive 1. That will make the denominator of the second expression equal to 0, and we don't want that. Now let's see how we can subtract rational expressions. So in this case, our denominators are in standard form. And before we do anything, we need to factor them. So let's factor the denominators. x subtract 1 over x minus 3, x plus 3. This is a difference of squares. Subtract x plus 7 over two numbers that multiply to 6 and add to negative 5. Negative 3 and negative 2. So x minus 3, x minus 2. Now we need to find the common denominator. And the common denominator consists of the existing factors from each one of the expressions. Let's see what each one of the expressions is missing. So if I look at the first one, it has x minus 3, it has x plus 3, but it's missing x minus 2. So I need to multiply by x minus 2. The second one has x minus 3, it has x minus 2, but it's missing x plus 3. And since I'm changing the denominator, I need to multiply the numerator by the same expression. Now I'm going to do it all over the same denominator. So the common denominator will be three factors x minus 2, x minus 3, and x plus 3, 
the order in which you put them in the denominator does not matter because they're all multiplied by each other. In multiplication, the order doesn't matter. Then this, the first expression, you need to expand x minus 2 and x minus 1. So you're multiplying x minus 2 by x minus 1. And in the second one, you will multiply x plus 3 by x plus 7. Let's try to expand. So x squared minus 2x minus 1x minus 3x, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Then there is this negative here, our minus, right, our subtraction, that will affect the top uh, numerator, the second uh, numerator. So then if we expand, every single sign will change. So it will be negative x squared minus 10x and then 7 times 3 minus 21. Now we need to see what terms are like terms, collect them and simplify. I notice that there is an x squared and a negative x squared. They are exact opposites, so I'm just going to reduce them. And then negative 3x and negative 10x are like terms. Negative 13x and then 2 and negative 21 becomes negative 19. So this is my numerator and in the denominator I still have the product of three factors. Now let's not forget the state restrictions. The restrictions here will be the restrictions on all factors that are uh, in the original expressions. So we have x minus 3, x plus 3, and x minus 2. x, therefore, cannot equal negative 3, x cannot equal positive 2, and x cannot equal positive 3.